Hello all. So in this video, we will see uh, about uh, one more interesting topic on joins. Uh, so in application composer for few objects, we will uh, we will be most uh, mostly seeing this option uh, joins after after fields. So what exactly this will do and how it will help uh, for us uh, in our implementations. So, so first of all, joins are uh, joins will form if there is some relationship between two objects. So for suppose uh, for opportunity, uh, we uh, I just clicked on opportunity. So I can see some of the uh, related or uh, related or child objects. All of this. So for opportunity, uh, group join opportunity group group. Uh, and opportunity to organization, nothing but account uh, relation, opportunity to person, nothing but uh, contact relation, and opportunity to primary contact person. So something like this, we have a uh, few uh, uh, relationships, inbuilt relationships. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, these are formed by using that uh, relationships. So now, uh, so and and these uh, joins will not be available for all of the objects. Uh, suppose uh, for account and contact, this is not available. So if you expand account, so joins is not available, and same as uh, for contact also. But for opportunity leads and then uh, for few of the uh, uh, for for few of the custom objects. Uh, where um, okay for custom objects also uh, looks like it's not available. So only for uh, standard objects with uh, some out of the box relationships. Uh, so the joins will be formed and and will be available. So now uh, how this will help for us. So uh, suppose I'm in opportunity work area means opportunity object area. So I wanted to pull something, some fields from organization, which is a related object to opportunity. So what I'll do, I'll click on opportunity to account organization field, uh, this particular join. And then uh, here I can see list of fields, which I created. Or if we, if, if we don't, uh, so by default, no field will be created in this joins. So we need to add some fields. So uh, here I have already added two fields. But if you want to add one more field, and we can just click on create, and then we can add some field. Okay, these fields are available from account object. And what exactly this uh, joins? So joins are nothing but uh, fields from a related object. So these are mostly like, um, so most of the fields are like, will act as a formula fields. Uh, so suppose if you want to uh, bring a primary contact information, like primary phone, primary email of the account. So we don't need to create a, a formula field or some field in account. And then we need to write some script to show this uh, account email or account primary phone. So whatever account information we have in opportunity area. So we can simply create uh, this join field and then we can select that particular uh, field, suppose primary email. I'll say this as a <clears throat> account uh primary email so and then i'll create okay. so once we create uh, it will tell whether it it is updatable or mm, not updatable field so if it is updatable so then uh, we can edit uh, that field in opportunity area itself and if we update that uh, the the value will be updated in account uh, in account object only. 
means in the respective related object only the data will be stored so since uh, and you can notice that uh, account primary email and primary phone are read only fields and account contact is not read only it is uh, it is editable field so the use of these fields is uh, it, it uh, sometimes uh, we don't need there is no limit on uh, creating uh, creating join fields because these are uh, available runtime so these fields cannot be imported or cannot be reportable just like a, a formula field and there is no limit also so uh, this will simply avoid uh, some additional fields in opportunity or additional scripting in opportunity or wherever uh, wherever we, wherever object we, whichever object we are using so it will limit uh, that scripting and number of fields usage uh, uh, for uh, related objects so now i have uh, created these three fields okay and i'm going to opportunity uh, uh, pages and then i'll add these uh, newly uh, created fields uh, in opportunity work area so now i'll be i'll be going to opportunity detail page and then i'll click on uh, uh, summary and then i can see uh, the join fields here join fields will be we can differentiate like this uh, it will it, it will add a hyphen and join and then it will add as a join field so primary contact account contact and primary phone uh, and primary email also i added uh, into opportunity work area opportunity details page so then i'm saving the record and in the op in account also i'll i'll expose these three fields so that uh, we can see so in opportunity also i'm going to add uh, the primary uh, all emails and all phones uh, and then primary contact is available so now i'll be navigating to opportunity area so to test the changes <clears throat> i'll click on uh, one of the opportunity existing opportunity because i added in uh, details page now here we can see for the related account the account contact account primary contact is this one and account primary email and account phone number so i'll just <clears throat> uh, verify these details are correct or not primary contact and then uh, so for verifying primary email we'll go to profile and click on all emails and we can see and similarly phone number okay so email and phone number are uh, are the uh, read only fields but account contact we can edit it means so i can remove uh, and i can update uh, account account primary contact from opportunity work area suppose uh, i'll select a different contact here so and then i'll save so now i'll go to account so now we'll see this new contact you can see primary contact is changed so this we updated 
from opportunity work area itself so this way uh, we can we can avoid few fields uh, in opportunity area and these fields uh, we can expose in all of the wherever uh, in creation page also creation page and edit pages uh, so and there are some limitations uh, while using some some of the fields and some of the op, uh, for some of the objects and uh, for lead and opportunity it won't be uh, uh, it won't be synchronized uh, uh, on on saving but for few other objects it will sync on saving uh, upon saving so but for lead and opportunity uh, because of for because of performance issues so for lead and opportunity it is disabled by default and once we navigate again uh, to that once we close and open the same record then few fields uh, will be updated and it will show the with the uh, correct up correctly or updated values so that's all about uh, joins in uh, oracle fusion cloud groovy so thank you